Hello all my crafty friends, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I am going to be making a couple of page kits using the Paige Evans uh, new line. This is the Wonder Collection and so I am um, going to be doing this just with the products that I have on hand um, and first I'm just going to go ahead and pick out all of the um, papers that go along with this and then I'll go through and I'll actually pick out sketches and um, some of them might be for future videos some of them might be for this month's videos um, I'm just kind of having fun I already have an idea of what I want to do with this page right here so um, it's just kind of getting them into mini kits so what I went ahead and I did is I pulled a couple of photo actually not a couple a lot of photos because this collection is so big um, that I know I'm not going to just get it all used up with just one. So I pulled a couple of photos and I kind of want to show you guys. I'm going to move these off to the side because these I'm not working with today. I'm only working with the papers today. And so I already have a plan. I also have these two right here. Um, I already have a plan of what I want to do with this sheet right here. Um, I am using this sheet and one picture and going from there, let me go ahead and just kind of put these all together. Okay, so I have this picture of me and Stella and I'm going to kind of cut a little bit off probably like right there. Um, and I have a plan for this page to be um, used and cut up. So my plan is to actually just look through and kind of pick a background page for this and call that one done. So I have this beautiful butterfly and I think with this I'm actually going to just look in the, I have the project pad, I'm going to look to see if I have any purple because I think that purple will actually work since this is such a vibrant purple that I'm wearing here. Um, and I don't think that any of these are, I mean, I have this purple, but I think I might just go with solid purple. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. I actually like that one too. Hmm. I'm going to go with purple. I'm going to just stick with what my original plan was and look at this what i love about these pages these project kits is that they come with the uh, papers as well so i'm going to see if there is a darker purple but if not that one works okay i think that's good so i'm going to actually take this and this is not this desk is not big enough i'm going to use that and call that page kit number one the second one i'm going to be using this photo of miss stella and then a bunch of smaller photos i probably will not use all of them um, just because i just won't um maybe like two or three so I'm going to put that off to the side. This one's going to be cut down. It is a little blurry, but we'll, um, we'll work with it. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick something that looks good with this page. I kind of like that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, I like this one too. This one's very, very different. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this as like my main focus piece of this page. I'm going to pick at least one page that has, um, you know, the colors. And I think I'm going to go with this pink one or the blue because her pants are blue. Okay. We're going to go with the blue. I know it's so hard to use navy blue though. It is so hard to use navy blue because you know, if you're an avid scrapbooker, blue, navy blue is hard to come by. So 
I'm just going to flip through and see if I can find anything else that looks good. Oh, I do like that. I do like this. I think these would be really cute cut out. But I think for right now, oh, that's pretty too. I think for right now, this is going to be my page right here. If I have any scraps or anything like left over, um, I'll definitely use that. I think I might try to bring in another color. Let me see. Or you know what I'll do? I will go through my scraps and actually add some scraps to this one. So I have two main photos, two main pictures, or let me talk, two main um, 12 by 12s. And then I will go into making maybe bringing out some blue or some yellow with some of my scraps. Okay, next one, um, let's see what we have here. We have this one right here, which is three photos. I'm going to actually like cut across and cut off some of this because um, it is very, very busy. So let me see if I can find anything that looks good with these. I love the butterflies, but I just don't think that the butterflies are gonna work with this one. I do love that. Hmm. Just got super dark in here. Uh, let's see. I don't like any of those with those photos. Let's see if there's anything in here that I could try to picture. I think I definitely want to bring in either the blue. Oh, I think if I do this blue right here and then do some like quilted something with this, that would be fun, I think. Or I could do something with this. What do you guys think? Hmm. Let's see, let's pull the blue out. So I probably would do this like texture because I don't think it has like that light, I mean, it has this light blue in it. Okay, we're definitely going to use that as our background. Definitely going to use that as our background. And then let's see if we can pick something that goes good with that. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe that would look really cool since they are kind of like in a blanket. Hmm. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that right there because they are kind of just like snuggled in a blanket and just nice and nice and snuggled. So we'll go with those two or this one. And like I said, I'm going to bring in some scraps too um, just to kind of play around with it. So then the next ones I'm going to do are these two of me and Miss Stella. She's got a little mermaid on. So the colors I think go really well with what we're wearing. There's some purple in my sports bra. There's some pink and then there's some like red and uh, blue in Stella's outfit. And I think what I could do for this one, I think that would be too much. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking either that or I could bring in the purple and kind of settle it down a little bit. If you bring in the purple, I'd have to bring in some pink. How would I bring in pink though? Is there a pattern in here that is pink? There is this pattern right here. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so I definitely am going to be using this one for this. And I think I'm going to be 
leaving those two together like that. I think that would look really cute. Now, like I said, I could add in, I could maybe just add in the yellow, the purple. If I add in the purple, that could work. Let's see about adding in the purple and just going from there instead of using this page up. Okay, there we go. We will do that as another one. So we are getting ready for these kits. Okay, next one is me with my, um, these are my, they're beach body containers and I was just so excited to have them. So I think this will go with this. I think that would look really, really cute because it kind of goes with the colors. I love that. That's very pretty. And I think let's see. I think this would be really cool to kind of bring in this. Hmm. No. This one might be using there's the pretty flowers. This one I might use some of these flowers or some of these butterflies and cut them out and kind of like put them along the side. Oh, that would be really, really pretty. I think that might work. So I'm going to leave that like that. Um, I don't know what my main color is going to be because... I do pick out one. I think I would have to pick out red up pink. Pink's not really involved in that color scheme as much. Just trying to pick out one one color. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'll come back to the pattern and pick one out. And even maybe if I could try to find a scrap that would match. So we got a couple more to do. This is going to be a little bit more challenging um, because I do have like a whole bunch of different scenes from here. So this is Stella and I got to figure out how many layouts I'm going to make with this. Let's see. That's like our trip, our trip. This is like somewhat on the way home. Our trip. And then this is like on the way home. And we have like beach photos too. So, hmm. This might have to be like something I think about doing once I'm done. I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I have so many of them. This is where printing off these photos definitely is a little bit harder. Oh, I love that one on the Stella. I think my goal was to do one of us going to the sunflower farm and then one of us um, one put into Miss Stella's, uh, thing. So I think I could probably break these up into two. Um, so if we do two, could probably do a couple of different ones. Hmm. This might have to be done another time. I do love this. I think this would be really pretty with the flowers, like this even, with Stella, with the sunflowers, because it has that pop of, of yellow. That would be really, really cute. 
like the blue sky. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do at least two, at least two to three layouts using, using these, two to three. So if we do that, I know I wanna use this sheet. I know I definitely wanna use this sheet. It has that on the background. And let's see. I could possibly use the green as well and do that. So if we decide to do at least those three, Ooh, the really cute flowers. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And the yellow. Okay, so I think we have a plan. So I think I'm gonna use this as one. I know that's a lot, but that'll be as one layout. And then we have, we do have some yellow. So I could put it, bring in some yellow. We also do have this green, which I kind of want to bring in along with this yellow. And this, like, is that too many flowers? And then do, like, each one a different background if you know what I'm saying like in between these I think that would look so cute and then we could add some pops of maybe we could add some pops of this blue or we could just do pops of the pink I think the pink would look really cute Especially when Stella is wearing a little bit of pink. So there is that. I am going to call that two pages. All right. And then the last one that we have is of all of like our trip. And the first thing I thought of was this pattern right here that I think is so cool. So I definitely want to use that as my inspiration for this. And I'm thinking if I use that, I could cut these out and use like this sheet. Oh no, that might be a little bit busy. So might that one. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. I definitely like this blue. I think I'm going to bring in the blue along with this. We're almost using up this whole collection. Um, and then we could definitely bring it in with that too. Maybe this pink? What do you guys think? I mean, those are the only ones that I have. I think that that might work. I could always use some little scrap sheets too. So, I think that is what I'm doing right now for those. So we still have a lot left. I might add in another color to this, like this orange, maybe. Maybe. I think we might. So, and we might be able to use the other stuff, but this is just a start. Um, that'll be for another day to add embellishments and all that. So I really like how this is going. Um, I'm pretty excited. I cannot wait to start playing with this stuff. As you guys can tell, I've already like put a big kind of dent in this one. So we have this one right here. We have at least two right here that we are working with. So I do have this kind of, uh, let's just go ahead and just put it all together. There we go. We can just do that. 
And so two of those. And then we have this one right here. Which I have to cut those butterflies out. We have this one right here. Which is super cute. We have this one right here, which I'm going to do something with these quilts. And then we have this one right there. And we have this one right here. So I think that is good, guys. I think we did a pretty good job of picking out some page kits. Next, we'll be adding the embellishments and just kind of looking for maybe some inspiration in some sketches. Um, like I said, I might be using this for further sketches. Who knows? So I appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and hit subscribe to see what I'm going to be doing with these and how I'm going to turn these into page kits and add more embellishments, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.